All right. Should be live. I think we are. All right. Here. All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome to uh, the Train Sim World 2. Um, I think this is the second time I've had a... Uh, stream of train some world or video maybe either way this is the uh the main first one we're gonna do and i've been i've literally played this scenario like i don't know five times i've just never um been able to make it happen so here we go just trying to get the, the lag out Sorry for the loud noise, that's going to be happening for a minute to checking some settings. Alright, so let's uh, pop down to this end so it's a little bit quieter. So, this is Train Sim World, and we're doing um, through freight or hedge hill, whatever this scenario is and I could not for the life of me figure out how to get this train moving so let me just check the audio real quick hold on one second for me checking some setting for a minute two for the life of me all right so it's pretty loud but that's how it is for me too all right so here's what we're gonna do we're going to set this train up for go, and then I'm going to show you what's going to happen, and that way maybe you guys can, can skip this too. So, back to loudness. So, let's get it set up. Alright, so to get this train moving, uh, the first thing we need to do is put the reverser all the way forwards, like this. And then, cylinder cocks are closed, that's fine. Um, next thing we're going to do is release the steam brake and open the regulator up to like 11 and what you're going to see that's going to happen is um, you can see we're building steam pressure down here and we've got it open up to 18 percent and the train's just not moving and i'm like why the the brakes are off Oh, wait, 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 oh, let me, let me open up the injector here. Alright, so now that we got the injector open. The brakes are actually released, and you can see we get moving, and then it just stops. And even if we open it up and get the, get this thing all the way up there, she just completely will not move. So, why is that? Well, let's just fly down through here. So all these cars, they have these handbrakes on them, right? But these are released. But if we look at these red cars, they have a handbrake too. But they also, is it these? I think it's these. They also have a little tiny string that hangs down right here. You see this spring right here? Vacuum brake release. You have to come over here and pull every single one of these lines. Now you can, you know, get out of the train and do this, but this camera is a little bit faster and easier to do. So it's every other car because they're backwards. And then what we'll do is Go to the other side of the cars and do all the ones on the way back. So you see we did that one. Now we have to come onto this side. Pull these. Now I I don't know if you have to do every single car or if you can just do one, but I'm gonna do every single one because that's what's worked in the past. So yeah, it's kind of tedious, unfortunately, but I mean it's kind of realistic at the same time. Alright, so there's that. 
Um, none of the other cars have this. And as you can see, the train is now rolling backwards. So, let's get back up here. Let's put the combination brake on to stop the train. Hey, John. What's up? I knew somebody was poking in here. All right, let's get the regulator opened up. Giver. 15% should be good. Oh, no. Alright, so we need to put some sand down. Where's the sander? That's the blower. There it is. And we want it on the front. Alright, let's try this again. moving. Keep it going. We'll increase the regulator up to 20. Finally, that stupid steam valve shuts off. I feel like the, uh, not much. Getting ready to head to Florida. I figure I'd stop by and say hi. Yeah! Have a safe trip, dude. Um, hope you enjoy it down there. And, uh, maybe, maybe it'll be a little bit, uh, warmer down there, eh? But, uh, yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We're just, uh, getting the old steamer going here. Up, just get this old bird moving. Chuff, chuff, chuff. The only thing I don't like is this steam locomotive from England doesn't have a bell. There's no bell. Like, come on, bro. Where's the fun in that? Yeah. Good to see you, John. Yeah, we'll stay on this side. Let's open up that regulator. We gotta get moving. We're going uphill. By the way, the screeching noise is because we're changing tracks. Whenever you go across this, it just screams. Yeah, we're going up at 8% grade here, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh... The steep climb. And this is a pretty long train, too. This is a terrible view. This is a little better. And it also has no headlight. No headlight whatsoever. So anyway, we're just, uh, oh, that's damn interesting. We're just, uh, going along through here. I believe we're right here. We're just gonna make a trip somewhere here. I don't know. It's, it doesn't tell me. <laughs> anyway. Huh. 
moves the regulator a little bit. On the steam brake. So we're going down 1.5% grade here. Pretty quick here. They're going to be going up. And I don't want to lose that momentum. It really is crazy having to drive a train like this with a steam locomotive. I mean, going up these steep hills like this. It's tough. I mean, as you can see, going up that steep grade, you got the throttle open at 48%, which is not all the way, obviously, but and it slowed down to 15 when we were going like 22. It makes a big difference. <laughs> still in town here. Getting about 40 to 30 FPS in the town here. Oh! Hold up. Hold up. Speed limit changed. Speed limit changed. Speed limit changed. Speed limit changed. Okay, we're good. Did I not decrease the regulator there? I don't think I did. Either way. the reverse down to like 60 just to conserve a little bit of the steam and we'll just keep that throttle open at 80 because we got 5.8 miles to go Saw at these people as we pass through. Yeehaw. Okay. Steam pressure is stabilizing. That's good. And we got this train rolling get on the right side. Look at them wheels just uh, going at it. You can even hear the... Ah, oh, that's so cool. Oh, there's the route map. Okay. As you can see, once you get the old girl going, it uh, likes to stay going. Just pull the regulator back, try to build up a little bit more steam pressure. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these two dials right here. So what we're looking at here is the damper. 
So see the front damper. So see, if I pulled this, I open up the blower, right? And that's what this is. And that helps stoke up the fire. Then there's also the dampers. Now, if you're wondering, the damper is right there. So there's front and rear dampers, and that is what gets the fire roaring as it is. To keep the old thing steamed up. Now, anyway, the balance you have to set with steam trains is your check your pressure so see this greater than or less than sign I'm trying to keep an eye on this green signal right here a little worry and then I'll continue what I was saying about the steam pressure <laughs> That sounded a little weird with the lag, eh? We're hauling. Alright, we got another 0.7 miles. Alright, anyway. So the steam pressure. So you can see here, this is showing whether this is decreasing or increasing. So right now it's kind of equilibrium. It's not going up much and it's not going down much. Still trying to... Uh, Keep an eye there. I don't want to overshoot. I'm not sure why it's lagging so much. I mean, I know we're in a city area there. Look at the angle this thing's at. It's... I'm gonna keep the throttle at 15. Anyway, so you can see now I've decreased the regulator and steam pressure is going back up. Now, this dial down here, that's how much pressure is going into the cylinder. See how this kind of looks like a cylinder? And obviously the cylinder is the piston here that is making the engine move forward backward, right? And so if I open up the regulator, you can see it jumps up a lot. And if I close it, it goes all the way down. That's basically what the... Uh, the regulator is going to do. So we're going up a little bit of slope, so I'm going to keep us a little bit of steam pressure in there. It also changes how much smoke, fire, and steam's coming out the exhaust there. Um, so that's basically what's going on with that. Now I, I will say I don't really understand what the reverser does. Like in theory, I get it. Like it's letting how much steam and go into the cylinders go in in which direction it can go but it still it still doesn't make any sense like how you can have one thing that lets steam in the cylinders but then another thing that I guess it changes the direction yeah the sequence that it goes in so that the train can go backward or forward again it still doesn't make much sense to be honest I I don't know how it does it but Either way, that's what it does. And the reverser, you can set it at a percentage. That's what I don't get. Because, like, I understand with the car. I'm going to start a slow brake application here. I don't know. 9%. Let's do 20%. I don't mind if I really slow down all too much. Um, anyway. And there's the steam valve, because you see the steam pressure got up to 225 PSI, or whatever unit this is. Um, now, and I can stop that just by opening up the regulator, as you can see. When we use a little steam, it goes away. Um, not sure why that's going away. I can't tell if we're going to stop there or what. But anyway. Um, okay, yeah, next speed limit, 1.8 miles per hour. 
just keep it at 15. We'll put the reverser at 16. Anyway, but the, basically the percentage, because like with the transmission, you're either in forward or reverse. Like, that's all you can do. But with this, there's a percentage that you can put it in forward or reverse, which I don't quite comprehend, but it is what it is. Oh, we got 17 miles? Good night, okay. I'm going to keep it at 8. Or 15. Anyway. And based on how much you open up the reverser, it conserves steam or uses steam. So, basically... Okay, game completely froze for a minute there. Wow. Hold on one second. I think everything's good. Let's just check in the uh, streaming studio. Anyway, um, Anyway, so if you cl close the reverser some, it kind of limits like how much steam's gonna come out. Basically, you can put steam, th this, the rever regulator c controls how much steam you're putting into the cylinders and the reverser controls how much steam can go to the cylinders. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm no locomotive engineer guy. That's just my weak understanding of how this all works. So anyway, let's give her a little bit of throttle here, or open up the regulator. As you can see, we're going up a good grade here, and I uh, want to keep being full. I'm not sure why the water valve. Five injector valve shut. So yeah. There you go. I love how it gets the train leaning. Hey, we'll open her up all the way, boys. We put it back at fifty. Try not to lose too much steam pressure. Or heck, we'll just put her at full tilt here. Everything's released. I guess it's just the curve, and the deepness of that hill just really dragging us down there. We're giving our rubbish things we got. Look at this bridge, eh? This is cool. Keep that fire blazing. Just 
try to build a little bit of steam pressure back out. going back up. Oh, is that another train coming? That's cool. We got her in full hill climbing mode here. I don't know what else we can do. Turn on the uh, sand just to be safe. Looks like we're still slowing down, but I'm not sure what else to do here. Maybe we can get some steam pressure built back up. Steam pressure's going back up. Just don't stop. Please. I don't know if we're going to be able to get going again if it doesn't stop. I mean, if it does stop. Come on, old girl. Get on up through here. This is this is what it was like. I mean, I don't know about these exact issues, but this is what it was like, you know, driving a steam train back in the whatever time period this is at, the 1900s, I guess. It's so hard to drive a steam locomotive because you have to keep all these things in balance. And if you don't keep them in balance, it just ain't gonna work. We got the blower going. Maybe that'll help a little bit. I'm blowing her as, mu as much as I can. I don't know if that actually helps or not, but. Either way, we're going as fast as we can, guys. We got the reverser 75, we got the regulator fully open. And 
we're just we're just climbing this hill. are closed. Ball injectors open. Hey, we gained a little speed, mostly due to the fact that the grade went down. This, this is why you have to monitor your, your speed just right, or it's, you just, you're gonna get stuck doing something like this. reverser at 50 and we'll leave the regular at 70 and see what happens. Speed. We're up to 28. Can we hit 30? We should. This we can probably turn the sander off. Probably don't even have any sand left, but what can you do? bit of oil. Even steam engines have oil. 
1935. So yeah, the 20th century, I guess, technically speaking. No idea what those mean, but something. Cabooses are so interesting. Like, you literally... Can I not go in here? You know, there's literal things to lean out the windows and look at the sides. It's really cool. Alright, we're picking up some speed now, boys. <laughs> It's fixing the change down to 55, I think, and it's going to go up to 80. Still got 10 miles to go. scary how much this thing jumps around. I don't know if the real train would be like that at all, but it's, it's pretty funny. The thing I can't stand is how horrible a view you really have out of a train like this. Like, this whole thing is walking everything. Going. We got 80 kilometer, 80 miles an hour to uh, get to. Virtual set at 50. That sounds pretty good. I've been driving this train for about 40 minutes now. That's crazy. Oh. Slam on the brakes, boy. Okay, we're good. Now we're up to 90. Let's open up that throttle. The game audio is a little loud still. Before we just keep going, let's uh, 
pull it down to like 60 maybe. Yeah. That's a lot better. I think that uh, that'll do it. It's still pretty loud. Hang on. Let me listen. Pull it down to like 60 maybe. Gotta love the double talk. Yeah. That's a lot better. I think that uh, that'll do it. Yeah. Could be good. Sorry for the double speak there. That's just the only way I can the only way I can listen to myself and hear how loud I am, really. I mean, I, I guess I can pull it up on my phone or something, but that doesn't give me a really good example. It's gotta be terrifying to see a rolling ton of steel this big just going flying through a station like that. Crazy. By the way, if you see any blips on the screen, it's me uh, tabbing out to look at something else on my stream. Pretty peaceful back here by the uh, caboose. Just the clicky clack, clicky clack, clicky clack. It just sounds so realistic. I mean, even the shovel. I mean, the way this person looks like they're doing it isn't very accurate necessarily, sticking it like that, but it sounds good. I love to, uh, they just do nothing but throw coal at this because it's just using so much fuel, it's insane. Again, I still don't know whether, like, if I put it down to 45, is that going to help me go faster uphill? I don't know. I don't know if I put it at 65, it will help me go faster. I, I don't really know. Okay, it looks like we're reaching top speed there, which is like 50 pigs with the reverser set there. That's the one thing I have noticed, is it does, it almost acts as like a cruise control. Like, once you get it to that point, it's not going to go any faster. But, whatever. I guess that's kind of a good way to describe it, is like, you are letting that amount of steam go into the cylinders, and then the regulator is letting that steam go into the cylinder. You're letting that amount of steam into the regulator, and then you're letting how much steam you go into the regulator. I don't know. To me, it just seems like a double thing. the one steam pressure and then another steam pressure. I don't know. It just doesn't make much sense, but 
maybe somebody can explain it in the comments if anybody in the future is watching this and they understand that part better. Uh, let me know. We just drove a hundred miles. First time I've ever done that. That's crazy. Well, we, did, we didn't drive 100 miles. I've driven 100 miles in this game. Pretty cool. So we got 3.5 miles more until we get to the Govaya. And I guess we're going to go all the way down to here. I guess we're just running the whole route today. I don't know if we went through here or not. We are definitely going a long ways. Like, if I look at the map... Liverpool, Lime Street. And we're here. So... Where is Liverpool, Lime Street? Is this Liverpool, Lime Street? I don't know. Maybe we can start the scenario over after this. And the... Anyway, as you can see, this is our little train here. Thundering down through here. Let's make sure we're still doing what we need to do. Oh. Okay. Put on some brakes. We got to uh, slow down here. Let's see. And the uh, steam brakes are a lot different from um, the modern ele diesel electric brakes. They don't work nearly as well. All they're doing if we look here, is just, uh, well, you can't really see it. The sun's not in a good spot. It's just grabbing onto the metal. Same thing with the, the cars here. And I don't even know if they lock down or not, but anyway. I think we're slowing down significantly enough. Is up here with the steam. Not sure what's causing that. There's something so peaceful about just trundling along when it's not making a bunch of noise. Now we could go faster, but I don't want to overshoot anything. craziest thing to me about trains is the amount of momentum that they build up with all those cars behind them. It takes some incredible stopping power to get this slowed down. I mean, just the engine itself is huge. And then you think about however many cars are hooked up behind this thing. And, and you know, these are old, small rolling stock cars. You know, we're talking cars these days that are like two, two or three equivalent two or three of these cars four sometimes possibly and they're just huge it's really crazy anyway we've uh put down pretty good here actually need to pick up a little bit of speed i don't want to just go through here at 
As slow as possible. Great. I'd like to get up to... Open up that throat regulator. Get us back up to speed. I'm kidding. Just put her at 40 there. Well, 39. Just put it at 39, see how that goes. So, I don't know if we're going to stop right here or what. Obviously, we're getting close to uh, the end here. Oh, go another seven miles. Okay, and we'll just open up the regulator. Like I said, we're pretty much going to go, yep, all the way down here to the rolling stockyard and end right here. So hopefully all the switches are set up. They usually are. Cool. Let's put that down at 60. Open that up to 70. 84. See how that goes. We are gaining speed. We're losing steam. Pressure a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad. to go. Let's get on down the road. Wish I could get this thing going faster. I'm just I'm not sure what I should do to do that. Anyway. Try to get a cinematic view up here. All you see is smoke. That's pretty funny. Just a peaceful day on the edge of the bridge and all of a sudden a train comes roaring by that's pretty cool Pretty cool. Let's 
set it to that. Let's see what happens to the steam jacket. Or chest. Yeah, steam chest. I think that's what they call it. I don't know. Obviously, we're climbing a steep hill, so there's that. Keep it there. Here, let's see something. It's weird. I can't visibly see it doing anything. So, let's go over some parts of the engine. Uh, this one. So, obviously this is the whistle. That's the pressure relief valve for the top of the engine. This is the smokestack. This is the theme dome, I believe it's called. Already showed you the oilers. This is the piston and cylinder. This helps keep the engine in time. You can see that from this down here. And yeah, this is the connecting rods, main rod. This is the brakes. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you earlier. Check this out. See that? That's how you stop a train. That's how you do. And uh, that's the sanders. You can see there's one in the front, one in the back. Those, rock, those lines right here. More steam valves and water lines connecting from the tender here, coal tender, and the water tender. Um, yeah. And you can actually see this rod here moving depending on where I put the reverser, so that's Pretty cool. Um, they've done a lot in this game to animate everything, even the doors and all this. The, you know, it's pretty cool. We even got a uh, roof opening, like so. That's a little bit of heat out. Whistle, of course. There's the vacuum pressure for the brakes. Alright, we got to uh, slow down here in about a mile. So we'll put the brakes on about 20%. Reminds me of the Polar Express there. And as you can see, they are engaged there. The car brakes, do they engage? Get her slow 
slowed down here. It may just be the steam engine. Gonna hurry up on the uh, the braking here. Don't want to blow past this speed limit. Steam valve sticks in the blow here, so watch out for that. Sticks to be loud. There you go. shoveling. We really don't need any more steam. Five miles and then we'll be going 75 I think not <laughs> unless you want me to go crashing down into this old mess I mean that is still a fair bit of a hike down through there but still not sure about 75 up this track <laughs> maybe the, maybe the other direction On just a little bit of break there. Maybe a little bit more break. As long as we're in the yellow, we're okay. Oh boy. Check this out. There's something so scary about how tight they make train tunnels. Like, you know, car tunnels, they have to make wide enough for cars to have a little bit of wee wee leeway room. Train tunnels? I mean, there's room, but not much. Not much. And some, some train tunnels especially that they make. I mean, they're just, they're tight. Get off that brake there. Get a little bit of... bit of steam going because we're not going uphill but it almost looks like we could. I mean that looks uphill to me. I guess it's not but it looks like it. Either way let's get ourselves back up to uh, 20 miles per hour. like just the momentum like it's still just rolling even though I'm not hitting well I was hitting a little bit of the regulator but not much also notice that the uh, blowers on
The blower comes on when you slow down, and it still needs to keep the steam coming out of the top up here. Just roll into a stop up here. Well, I say a stop. We probably should get a little bit of chuff, chuff, chuff going here. Because it looks like we're fixing to go up a steep grade. Look at this. 2.7. Zero point three over there to two point seven. That's insane. That's a huge jump. It doesn't even look like they smoothed it out that well, but open up the sander. Regulator reverser fully open. few cars up there. Man, what a struggle, eh? But what a beast of a train at the same time. I mean, all it is is steam. Of course, we're going into a turn now. I love the simulation, too. I mean, just the fact that those cars are still down there, and it's making this thing work so hard. Full, full, full tilt here. Just it's a testament to how well they've uh, shown physics in this game. Doing real good. And then look, as soon as the caboose gets up, like, okay, yep, you're good. And mind you, we're still going up 0.3% grade. Uh, even here. are all released. It really it really does. It just takes a long time for a steam engine to, to get moving when it's pulling this much weight. Keep it at 25. No, I don't need to get this thing going full tilt here. Cool stuff. Still going up with 0.3% grade, so that hill will slow us down a good bit. Four hundred yards. Boy. I'd give anything if this thing had a bell. I don't know why British locomotives in this game don't have a bell, but they don't. Point four percent grade. Wow, it's still getting steeper.
almost there. All right, close the rig regulator. Put a little bit of brake on. I want to hit this right on. Through freight, Edge Hill to Newton. Pretty cool. Hour taken, an hour and eight. It's pretty much how long the stream is, an hour and 11. Total score, 6,000. Not bad. Well, that was a cool run, eh, guys? Especially figuring out how to get the stupid train going at the beginning when all the brakes were set. Crazy. All right. Now we're on express freight. Drive this express freight service from Bassford Hall Yard to Edge Hill. Okay. Well, we could do that, but maybe we'll say that for next time. Uh, oh, I hate the uh, the sound of that. But. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I uh, see, you know, we got 28 views live, so whoever all that was, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by, John. Saying hi before you head down to Florida, and uh, yeah. I'll catch you next time, guys. If you like me playing Train Sim and like watching this, let me know down in the comments below. Um, if you want to see any more videos of it, just... Uh, Leave a comment. If you have any other questions about the game, maybe how to get another train going or how to complete a, a scenario that was tough, let me know and I'll do what I can. Um, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. I've been your host, Rue Reeves, and I will catch you next time. See you in the next one, Lord willing.